Well, greetings there, Internet world. Um, I'd just like to talk a little bit today about the flat Earth and the equinox. I've drawn a scale model of the flat Earth. Each degree of, lat of latitude is 60 nautical miles apart, or 69 statute miles. I've drawn the sun here at 32 miles in diameter, 3,000 miles above the flat Earth. And I've positioned the sun directly over the equator um, because we know that on the equinox, anybody who's living on the equator at high noon, the, mo uh, the sun is 90 degrees overhead. We call it the equinox because on the equinox, day and night is the same length. They're equal. Thus, it's the equinox. So if we draw out on the flat earth map, um, the sunlight from our 3,000 mile high sun would have to light exactly half the world. And as it revolves directly over the equator in a circle, it would be lighting half the world. So in a 24 hour period, it would make one revolution. Half of it would be daylight. Half of it would be night. One of the other things on the equinox is that no matter where you live on the earth, on the day of equinox, the sunrise and the sunset are directly due east and due west. The only exceptions are those places like the North Pole and the South Pole where the sun is on the horizon all day long. It makes a big circle all the way around you um, and it stays just right at the horizon. So we're going to do some analysis here, uh, analysis on the sunrise. So anybody who lives on this line of longitude right here would be experiencing a simultaneous sunrise. And you can go on to timeanddate.com to confirm that. Um, this is this would be uh, this is right at uh, the the prime meridian, zero degrees. So <clears throat> we're going to turn on the. Um, some sunlight here. So everybody living on this line of longitude experiences the sunrise at due east. So in order for that to happen with the sun being right here is we have to have some light bending so that it approaches anybody on this line of longitude simultaneously at an angle that is due east for sunrise. <clears throat> When we look at it from this perspective, we see that the light would have to bend downwards so that it appears like it's on the horizon and not uh, up here um, 3,000 miles high. And so we have to see that along this line of longitude, the light is bending down all across its entire length so that the sun appears from anybody's, anybody here, their perspective, uh, it is sunrise. Some say that the sun appears to set uh, and rise based on perspective. Uh, it creates a small problem in that anybody, uh, for instance, right here at 75 degrees north is about 7,000 miles away from the sun. That's the length of this line. Anybody out here um, on 75 degrees south, the distance from the sun is just under 15,000 miles is the distance that the light has to travel. So we've got uh, somehow the light knows how to stop right along this entire sunrise longitudinal line, even though we have distances ranging from 7 miles to 15,000 miles, and yet the sun all appears to be directly on the horizon, rising at the same time due east. Uh, anybody on this line right here, this would be their, on this longitudinal line, that would be their uh, high noon. Um, so at, at noon um, on the equinox, you can take your, uh, L, your latitude line, subtract it from 90 degrees, and that will give you the elevation of the sun. And you can go onto timeanddate.com and confirm this, that at high noon along this uh, longitude line, um, you will see that if you are at 15 degrees, we're going to look at a different perspective here. If you are 15 degrees north latitude, the sun appears to be about 75 degrees above the horizon. At 30 degrees north latitude, it appears to be about 60 degrees um, above the horizon at high noon, and so on. When you get out here to the 
uh, 90 degrees north or the North Pole, the sun appears to be at 90 degrees or zero degrees above the horizon. It is right um, on the horizon. When you are at um, the equator, the sun is directly overhead 90 degrees. You can see that we do have some issues in that none of these straight line uh, light paths converge at the sun. And so we have to apply some some nice bendy light. Um, so you can see if you're at 15 degrees north, the light has to bend downward, 30 degrees north, uh, downward. We have to have some type of refraction. When we get out here to about 43 or 45, uh, the, line, the light is traveling in pretty much a straight line. When we move to uh, <clears throat> 60, 75, and 90, the light now has to bend um, upwards to make it appear that uh, the sun is, for instance, out here at um, 75 degrees north latitude. Uh, the sun appears to only be 15 degrees above the horizon, and uh, which is not, uh, you know, geometrically where it is unless we create some bendy light to make it work. So we have some interesting things happening if this is due to refraction. We've got light bending downward, we've got light bending upward, we've got some light that's not bending at all here and uh, right at like 43 degrees we would have no bend whatsoever. So I, <clears throat> I, I would like to know uh, how that works. How does the light know, uh, regardless of the distance, how does the light know how to stop right here. What is causing it to stop? How does the light bend upward so everybody on this line of longitude is seeing the sunrise at the same time, um, even though they're different distances away from the sun? How is perspective making this high object right here appear to be on the horizon, even though we've got many different lengths, distances from the sun, what's causing the light to bend in varying degrees to make it appear that everybody on this line of sunrise is seeing the sun at the horizon at the same time. How does the light know how to stop? Why do we see varying degrees of, of refraction? And then it's happening in different ways. Here we've got light bending down. Now we've got light bending up. And then at sunrise over here, we've got only light bending up, never bending down. But we've got it bending not in a straight line from the sun to our point. We've, we're seeing all these <clears throat> arcs this direction. I'd love for an explanation. Uh, please put them below. Thank you.